Welcome, Kinky Friedman, to Last Monday Live here at Canwin Radio with your Shooty Ranger Randall. David Card's in the house. Uh, I see Glenn Marvin back there. There's a bunch of other characters, but the most significant person in the room right now is... One Jew writing about another Jew. <laughs> That's what I realized after it had been written. Kinky Freeman's in the house, folks. Glad you're here. You're here for what reason? Let's see. Let me try to think. Am I here for a um, Tupperware party? Am I here for a NASCAR race? Am I here for a vegan's uh, weekend uh, seminar? Am I here for... Oh, yeah. I'm here. I'm playing a show at Poor David's Pub. In fact, we even have David uh, here with us. He's my uh, driver today. We're not arguing. We haven't argued in a long time, David. No, we haven't, sir. We used to, didn't we? Uh, yes, we did, but you always won. No, it was pretty... <laughs> that You know, I was going to ask, Keith, what do you not want to talk about this afternoon? Oh, we can talk about virtually anything. Well, the... I'll tell you, listening to that song being played on the radio, Yeah. I think that's the hit, and I think whoever advised me don't call the record that or they'll think it's a joke i mean everybody will think it's that it, and and it's worked out beautifully because you gotta you gotta find this song um and the people who have well i think the song i, I don't know if this had been many years ago this would already be an underground hit you know in in europe and places like that mm -hmm. you didn't know this but i'm becoming the new uh, David Hasselhoff in Europe. <laughs> the young people like Kinky. And, and I'll tell you what else they like. I thought very interesting. Because in Germany, you know, I'm, as you know, the Germans are my second favorite people and my first is everybody else. But, <laughs> but um, the young people are selling out the shows and they love America and they love... They love it for a reason that most Americans don't. And that is, they love the people outside the mainstream that didn't quite make it, maybe, or that are significant, um, but not important, maybe, but are significant. For instance, you can bet that the young people that come to any show of mine there will also like uh, Hunter Thompson and Shel Silverstein and Graham Parsons and Iggy Pop and Tom Waits. You can figure you can go on and on with people that aren't quite, you know, they're not Miley Cyrus or somebody. They're, these kids are not impressed with Garth Brooks. Anybody mainstream, they're not impressed with. And, but they really know their stuff. And they think that that's what made America great, that the outside, Robert Mitchum's another one very popular. They like troublemakers. And they think they're the ones who have made America great, and I think they're onto something. And with your new original music, you've been out there blazing the trails and finding those kind of folks. Well, this, uh, this, uh, yeah, this record is twelve original songs, mm -hmm. all written in a month's time. The first one actually happened unto me in Denny's here in Dallas at a low point in my life, and it was damn near three sixteen when this guy came in in his pajamas. And something was wrong with him. I don't, you know. But um, but his eyes really had it. Usually I'll always give something to a guy like that. He was drooling. It was all this. And so I left. And then was overcome by guilt as I was driving off. And came back looking for this guy. And the guy was gone. I mean, nobody had seen this guy in there. Because I asked a few, the cash register, a few, the, um, so that was Jesus in pajamas. And I'm not saying every panhandler in the world is Jesus in pajamas, uh, but some of them just might be, and you got to have an eye for it. I don't. I, if I, I mean, I'll give any street musician money. This guy was trying to sell coupons. At any rate, it's a. The, the fifth track on this record is one that's all about Willie. Can we play that one? Have oh, you, the fifth in, track? Yeah, in, introduce that one for us. That uh, is um, Autographs in the Rain. And it's just kind of what it really is is a thank you note to Willie 
because he's he's only told me no one time over the years. He's done a lot of things. Like, hey, can you do this video with me? And he'll say, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Then one time I pushed him too far, and he said, find another sucker. <laughs> but uh, other than that one time, he has always been there, and he's never asked me for anything, I don't think. So this is... Uh, yeah, a song to Willie. A thank you note to him for, for all that. And there's a lot of people who uh, he, Willie has helped. You know, he was huge on the Benefit Trail. Bob Dylan, not so, not so fond of the old Benefit Trail. Although he's done a few charities. Okay, I've got to stop talking here if we're going to listen to this damn I was thing. looking for that right hook, but here it is. I knew a man who signed autographs in the rain He took me in when life was very hard Never really thanked him, so I'll put it in a song For I hold him in the highest regard Nothing in this world is quite as easy as it seems When you struggle half a lifetime to catch up with your dream He was born for trouble He was born to play with pain But I never will forget him Signing autographs in the rain Autographs in the rain Like teardrops from the past Makes you stop and wonder How long can he last But when the party's over and he's played his last refrain It ain't just words and music It's autographs in the rain Now the old man is sleeping In a hammock by the sea He wake up every now and then Then he look around and smile like a restless little child Then he close his eyes And he's on a road again He took me in when life was very hard Never really thanked him So I put it in a song For I hold him in the highest regard Yes, I hold him in the highest regard It's spiritual. It is. It's a well, great I, well, piece. Well, Willie, I actually saw him signing autographs in the rain. And the people didn't leave, and he didn't left. You, you know, he just stayed there and kept signing them. So it was factual. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Uh, the next song that you want us to listen to is, is Copper Love. Tell us about that. 
Copper Love was a dear friend of all of ours in the hill country and at the camp and the ranch and she was an artist a really good one and massaged racehorses for a living all around the world an interesting woman and yeah she was killed she her dog Clovis uh, knew about this and tells um well, the story is kind of, it's kind of an upbeat bluegrass thing. But that's it. One day, Copper just didn't come home. She was killed going out to paint blue bonnets near Fredericksburg. And um, yeah, this is a song. Copper love is gone, but her memory is living on. In every tree and rock on Echo Hill. And a river flowing by puts a teardrop in my eye Tells me that her spirit's with us still Copper love is gone, but this is her song May we sing it as long as we live And may this melody bring peace to you and me And help us to love and forgive Old Clovis was right there, lying by her easy chair. He could hear strange voices on the phone. He'd waited all day till the sun had went away. Copper love was never coming home. Copper love is gone wherever they go. Who helped so many so much. And we're all left behind, we're spiritually blind. So Copper, please keep in touch. Old Clovis was right there, lying by her easy chair. He could hear the people crying on the phone. He'd waited all day, but he'd once been astray, and he knew that Copper'd found another home. A nice tribute. That's a Joe Cerati and Augie Myers there. Uh, There's something to be said for very sparse arrangements, I think, starting with uh, Redheaded Stranger. <laughs> uh, so, Who else helped on the record? Um, Little Juford, who's uh-huh. a Jew and he drives a Ford. <laughs> and, um, and Clay, uh, Augie Myers' son, who uses a... a a large cardboard box and uh, and his fingers fingertips to play percussion and um, that came off very well let's see I think that's pretty well it uh, introducing to the world New Jersey's gift to the world Joe Cerati he's on mandolin on guitar on fiddle on a bunch of stuff but, uh, but Augie lends a certain spirit that's terrific too and Mickey Rayfield yeah of course, stitches the whole damn thing together with harmonica. Awesome. Uh, what time does the show start tonight? Uh, doors are at 7 o'clock, and the uh, show time will be at 7.45 with the opener, Clifton Monroe. All right. Thank you, David. I can't possibly make the performance. I'm having an anxiety attack. <laughs> uh, do you have a guy, can we find a skinny Jew somewhere in Dallas that can wear my hat and those <laughs> rudimentary guitar chords? Mm-hmm. And we'll give him a cigar. <laughs> we'll send his ass out there. I can't possibly go on. I'm, I'm feeling a free-floating anxiety. So there's some free-floating anxiety going on. Anybody else feel that way? Well, we no? have a therapist to, to tend to your very needs in the green room. Let us take care of a couple of public you, service announcements, and maybe that'll work. We'll be back. <laughs> Your 420 tidbit for today is don't believe everything you hear on the 420 tidbits. All right. 
Uh, Kiki, let's see. Uh, glad you stopped in the Electric Campfire Texas Renegade Radio Show here today, folks. Uh, we do this every last Monday. We try and get somebody from the community, and it just so happened that i done a couple of these last Mondays, and David called and said, hey, how about Kinky being on the show? And it said, sounds like a good thing to me. So glad you're here. Thank you very much for coming. Well, it ain't the pot of gold, boy. It's the rainbow. <laughs> how about me and my guitar? You want to talk about that one? Oh, yeah. I, love, I think that song, these songs were played for Ann Murray by, uh, by Ruth Buzzy. And Ruth is my friend, and she was visiting Ann Murray, who's her friend. And uh, Ann Murray picked uh, me and my guitar. She said, that's clearly the hit from this record. And she's, she sold 55 million records, so she ought to know. But she's retired now. She may have an idea of what's good, yeah. Um, so that's a thought. And I think the every song on this thing sounds so traditional, but... New and original. Thank you very much for doing this. Well, it's a pleasure, and thanks for airing that stuff, uh, Rand. A lot of these have not uh, been heard yet, and that's it. It's too bad. It's cultural ADD. We just don't have the time. To, poor Tom T. Hall is totally out of business because nobody will listen to more than thirty seconds of any record. Yeah. So, uh, and I, you know, I love Tom T. Hall. I loved all of his songs and both of his melodies. Since I download this thing, I think I've already listened to it six times. I'll let y'all listen to this one right now. Me and my guitar, Kinky Friedman from Circus of Life. Met her in a pawn shop, took her down to the local bar, held her close to me, anyone could see. All I am is me and my guitar People came to listen Some traveled from afar They stood in line as if to find salvation In that bar I told myself There's just two things that got you where you are All I am we traveled around this country Though she never had a name Sometimes she was music Sometimes she was fame I've been nothing lasts forever Like a steel string played too hard And when it breaks it sometimes takes your suit and your star So I headed back down to the pawn shop But I never got that far I held her close to me Anyone could see All I am is me and my guitar We traveled around this country Though she had a name Sometimes she was music Sometimes she was fame Now I play for all the people Dropping dollars in my jar And all I am is me and my guitar Absolutely a piece of tradition. Thank you, Randall. Yeah. Thank you for bringing it to us. You know, we just had a request uh, to do, um, which we'll do tonight at uh, Poor David's. Uh -huh. um, the Navigator, a story about my dad in World War II, mm -hmm. uh, flying B-24s. Okay. Uh, navigating. And it's... Um, I don't know, the, the motto, you know, the slogan of all those people back then was, we're all in this together. Amen. And we have strayed off that flight path, I can guarantee you. 
And it'd be damn nice uh, if we could find our way back. Yes, sir. Time for Circus of Life? Yeah, yeah, I, that's my personal pick. I, that, that's the one that has made people refer to me as the Texas Leonard Cohen, which is kind of a joke, I guess, if you want to. That's the problem. And most people, well, no, people in Texas know Leonard Cohen. Yes, sure. Right. We did. We did. Now, I got a call when Leonard Cohen died. My friend in, in New York was kind of, he was very close to Leonard. He called me, and he was kind of sobbing. He was crying. And uh, he said, Kinky, Leonard died. And I said, Leonard Skinner died? That's terrible. It's about the way it goes over in the, well, the audience as well. But. Circus of Live. She went to the ballet, and although she didn't stay, the dancers kept on dancing. In her head On the phone she told him She'd really like to hold him But sometimes she said She wished that she were dead He went over to her place He could see it in her face He could see the dying candles of his youth A hug was all she wanted then But she could have hugged a thousand men And still be no more closer to the truth Come to the circus Come to the circus Angels balanced on a mile Come to the circus Come to the circus Come to the circus of life He met her after many years He tried to wipe away the tears She was married to a man she didn't love Life, she said, has hit the skid She felt she couldn't leave the kids They were the only things that she was thinking of That night he dreamed of his regret He walked a wire Without a net High above The screaming shadows In the stand Then he plunged Into the dark They found him dead In Central Park He'd slipped right Through the angel's Tiny hands Come to the circus Come to the circuit A reaper is sharpening his side Come to the circuit Come to the circuit Come to the circuit of life She went to the ballet and although she didn't stay, the dancers kept on dancing in her head. As we talked earlier in the hallway, I complimented 73-year-old Kinky on his vocal abilities. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. Hey, well, thanks very much. That, actually, I think that last cut is uh, uh, probably my favorite. But what is a guy, you, you know, I mean, you, it's for others to critique. Or I think this record will find people. Yes. You know, they won't have to look too hard. It won't just be for the, 
for the uh, beekeeper or the uh, lighthouse keeper, you know, or solitary types. It'll, it'll find them. And tonight we've got a supply of CDs, so I will sign anything but bad legislation. <laughs> and, um, I once uh, signed a man's scrotum in Scotland, by the way. That was about 10 years ago. That was happier times, you know. It was... <laughs> <laughs> that goes well, over well with the crowd, usually. It's, uh, yeah, it worked. Right. Let's see. Uh, Spitfire, tell us about it. Oh, a Spitfire is uh, from that era that millennials probably know nothing of, but they could, and maybe they will, uh, of World War II. And um, Spitfire, every song in here is personally triggered by a tragedy that occurred in my life or with somebody very close to me. And I didn't realize that till after it was done. I mean, the death of someone, be it a, a cat, a dog, a person, a sweetheart that um, that the listener could not know about. But what inspired me to write that particular song? And we just broke every rule we could. Twelve tragic songs, or ten slow songs in a row. Um, the production, while excellent, is still not Nashville production. It's not. They would immediately say, "No one will play this on the radio." You know. That's what they were saying about blue eyes crying in the rain. I, you know, I, I find it to just be, you know, a tad analytical, but very retrospective and dead gum. It, it's just it's just so uh, confessional, you know, for what you may have been doing over the last 40 years. I mean, and, and what a nice representation to have after 40 years. Thank you for coming and sharing your stories and songs with us today. It's great. And now we're going to the big show. <laughs> Over at David Card's place, poor David's pub. This is going to be a real good one tonight with Cliff Monroe. Clifton Monroe, yes, sir. Clifton Monroe. All right. And Richard Kinky Big Dick Friedman will be uh, coming on right after him. And we'll do a number of songs from Circus of Life. <laughs> the other night I called it Circus of Fire, which I ought to know what the name of the damn record is, right? I mean, a guy before he gets out and does a tour. But this song about Spitfire. Spitfire. You'll do it Spit tonight? Uh, well, no. I have, don't have this one down. I mean, I'm okay. like working without a net. A lot of the songs I have not rehearsed. I, I have about half of them down. This is not one that I do. And this one is like, reminds me of kind of bridge over treble water-ish. I mean, it's beautiful with Mickey on harp and Juford on piano. So this would be a treat for the audience to hear this afternoon and... Man, check out Kinky Friedman at Poor David's Pub tonight, folks. And once again, David, thanks for bringing him down. And Kinky, we appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. stood in the darkness at the window She knew that an era had gone by There was a little stray kitten she called Spitfire There was a little stray tear in her eye And Spitfire went down over the channel Spitfire had made his final kill she said, no one will fly higher than my little Spitfire. I love you, always have, always will. And they'll sing in all the pubs in Merry England. They'll dance in Piccadilly and Barclay Square. And when at last the war is finally over, Drink a toast to one who isn't there He stood in the rubble of the steeple Eight hundred German airplanes now were gone Keep calm, Churchill said to all the people Keep calm and carry on 
Spitfire went down over the channel Spitfire had made his final kill She said no one will fly higher Than my little Spitfire I love you always have Always will I love you always have Always will Excellent. Thank you very much, Kinky. Thank you, brother. It's been a financial pleasure. <laughs> and uh, I tell you, you know, we uh, appreciate you being uh, one of our last Monday live uh, guests, and it's uh, more like a visit than it is an interview. Come back anytime you want to visit. I think, Randall, I think you're the first guy to play some of these songs in Dallas, actually. That's how new the record is. Well, I'm. And of course, we will sign them all tonight, won't we, David? Indeed, we will, Mr. Inimitable Kinky Freak. <laughs> right. uh, no, it's going to be a really great night. We look forward to it. Come on out, folks. You're going to like it. You're going to love it. You're going to laugh. You're going to cry. <laughs>